Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I would like to talk about, well, Crowhaven, and the quest for the permanent buff. So, Oblivion is full of interesting quests, and, I mean, I really actually like the quests in this game. I think a, there's, a, there's, there's, of course, you know, the filler quests that are, they just kind of dare, you know, it doesn't really do anything, but then there's quests like this that actually kind of, they're kind of impactful. And it is actually game changing. So, in the Imperial City, one of the districts is the, well, Arena District. And the Arena District has a big arena in it. And it's, you can actually do gladiatorial combat in this game. It's a story, so it's a linear story, so every time you go through, you fight the same enemies. But there's a guy down there named the Grand Champion. And. He is an orc, but instead of green orc skin, he has blue orc skin. And so, he's an interesting guy. You talk to him, and he says he's a half orc. Which means that he's half orc, half something else. And your goal uh, that he eventually gives you, is a task that he gives you, is to, well, figure out the other side of him. What other half he was. And it leads you to this fort named Crowhaven. And Crowhaven's a of a tiny fort. It's got some loot in it. You might end up fighting some undead or some enemies or just general stuff, but the um, basically the story behind it is the guy's dad was a lord and the lord um, you know, lived in Crowhaven. So you go to Crowhaven because the guy is just like, oh, I'm in the arena. Gotta do this. You go to Crowhaven for him. And eventually you kill this guy who's a vampire, and you figure out that this guy, this grand champion, is half orc, half vampire. And you come back to the arena, and you give the guy the journal, and he's horrified. He, he does not like the fact that he is a vampire. Now what he does do, the reason why I call it home of the permanent buff, is because he teaches you, I guess... It's called the Grey Prince Training, but really all it is, is it's a buff to yourself. It just kind of teaches you some, quote, techniques. Not really, they're not really techniques at all. Um, it's basically Fortify Block, Athletics, and Blade by 3. That's all he does. But it's a permanent buff, and it's really cool. It's one of the only permanent buffs I can think of in the game that you can get beyond just your race and attributes. I think it's... Um, there's another permanent type of buffs you can get, like permanent ups to skills, but they're fortified, so it's not like you get three athletics, three blade, three block, they're fortified, which means that your max blade, block, and blunt end up being 103, which I guess if you really think about it is good, some is good, some is bad, you never know. But the real important thing is the grand champion is extremely hard to kill sometimes in the arena, and if you do this quest, when you go to fight him, he just gives up and you can kill him. And then you kill him, and then you get his arena remnant after, you know, you fight all the people and kill all the people and this, that, and the other. And you get the red arena remnant. And that's really it for this quest. It's a really nice castle. I mean, the castle's in an amazing spot. It's all the way on the left side of the map. Like, farther left than Anvil. But it has a beautiful view of, like, the ocean... And it's, it's an interesting, like, Anvil, I kind of live, I live on an island, so I relate to the landscape of Anvil a lot better than at the other places. But if Anvil, like, if stuff would render in, it's basically got a whole view of Anvil. Just there, and this big cliffside. It's just, it's a gorgeous place to be. But that's really it for this video, guys. Not too long, but... That's Crowhaven for you guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam post. I mean vlog, not vlog. Of whatever I decide to make.